Good morning everyone and welcome back to Carrie's Beauty Corner. Today I'm really excited about the video that I'm bringing you because I made a really frivolous purchase <laughs> and I want to talk to you about it. I got me a skincare fridge. <laughs> so if you're interested in hearing all about this, then stick around because that's coming right up. Okay, I thought I would share um, what the company, and the company is called, let me see, the company is called Spa Science, and this is the Cool Skin Care Beauty Fridge, and basically, um, this is what I'm going to say, do you need a beauty fridge? No. But let me tell you why I got one. And I'm going to unplug it and pull it over here and show it to you. Okay. It plugs into the wall. Here's the back of it. It has a little um, on-off switch. It has a cold hot switch, which I don't know um, why you would want to use it for hot. But evidently, you know, that option is there for a reason. But it has a little 110-volt uh, plug that plugs into the wall. And it has a cool little um, carry handle on it. And then you open it up. And this is what I have inside. And I'm going to go ahead and do my skincare routine because I have to get ready for the day anyway. But y'all, I just recently, I've had it about, I don't know, a week or so. And here's what the company says about it. Make the best of your skincare thanks to refrigeration. From the dreamy cooling sensation of brisk skincare to increased treatment efficiency and extended shelf life, the refrigeration of skincare products is currently the biggest trend in beauty. Not only will chilling your skincare extend the life of your beauty products and help to nix puffiness, but storing your serums, masks, and creams at lower temperatures can also prevent bacteria. So, I have a, a whole um, plethora of eye creams. Um, my favorite eye cream that I'm using right now is from Good Molecules. It is the Yerba Mate Wake Up Gel. And this is not really um, like a treatment, um, like uh, it, it doesn't target anything. It just reduces puffiness. And I'm going to go ahead and use it first. I cannot tell you what it feels like to put this gel product on around your eyes when it is cool. It is the most, um, I guess I could say pampering feeling. It is a very um, luxurious feeling to have that cooling sensation there around the eyes. I mean, y'all. Um, oh, and let me tell you this. I paid $29.95 for it. At Walmart um, like I said do you need this product is your skincare fine without it sure it is but if you are in the mood to find something a little luxurious in your day go for this um, I also have my serums in there um, I've got this hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. I have another hyaluronic acid from Good Molecules. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and use the one from The Ordinary today. But I can't, I, I can't begin to describe to you what it feels like to have these cooling products on your skin first thing in the morning. It is just incredible. 
Now I'm going to use my um, my Good Jeans by Sunday Riley. And, oh, is this cool. Oh, my goodness, y'all. I'm not kidding. It is just... It, it, it's just... It feels amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now, it's not the roomiest... You know, I mean, you can't put a beer in here. Beer's not going to fit. Maybe a little mini Coca-Cola or something, um, you know, if you're desperate to have a drink up in your uh, beauty room. Um, now I'm going to go in with the, well, my glasses are fogged up because I'm hot. The heat's running. And Anyway, I'm going to use this Super Fruits. Oh, sorry. The Superfruit Citrus Day Gel Cream. And this is from um, Earth to Skin. And this is also in a gel form. Oh, <laughs> it just feels so nice. It just, I don't know. It's just... You know, we have these days, and y'all know my backstory. Y'all know that I'm, I'm, I have an illness, a chronic illness, and I feel bad a lot. And there's something about starting your day with a good face cleansing and having these cool products on your skin. And this is the uh, Murad. Um, hydrodynamic ultimate ultimate moisturizer for eyes and I'm super puffy because I had steroids this week um, I don't know if any of you ever have to get steroids but they're the devil and you know they're a necessary evil um, because it's the only thing that knocks down that inflammation and pain for me but boy, do I pay for it. Um, it, shoo, dog hair. It does definitely get worse before it gets better. So, I'm going to let this sit in on my skin before I go in with my Alba Botanical sunscreen. And then I'll go straight into my makeup of the day. But... I just, this was just a really neat purchase that I was excited about. Um, I didn't know how I would feel about it when I ordered it. I told my husband I was going to order it, and he went, okay. Um, you know, because who ever heard of a, a, a little mini refrigerator for your skincare? But I've seen a couple people have them, and I just came across this on Walmart. And for some reason, you know, Walmart is weird. Um, I'm sorry, I need a sip. And yes, I'm still drinking out of a Christmas mug because this one has my mama and my sister and me on it. So I love this one. Um, but anyway, the different, they, I think they came in three different colors. The pink one was $29.95, but the other two were more expensive. So pink matched my decor. So I said, well, I can go for it. It's no big deal. Um, but anyway, Spa Sciences, this is what the box looks like. Here's the front of the box, and here's the back of the box that shows you the inside. Um, and just like I said, I, this is probably the third, third time I've said this. Is it a necessary product? No. Excuse me. Will you thank yourself for getting it? Yes. <laughs> so, anyway, that's all I've got for you today. Um, I'm going to come at you Wednesday with a, a makeup look. I'm going to use this new Bella Pierre palette that I got. So I'm, And then I'm going to use the um, banana powder and the lipstick that I got from Bella Pierre. So that's going to be a Bella Pierre try-on on Wednesday. And then Friday, I'm going to come at you with a foundation uh, ranking kind of a... Um, I've tried a lot of new foundations in the last couple of months. And I'm not really going to rank them one above the other, but I'm going to rank them what I think about that on a 
think about them individually on a scale of 1 to 10. So, I hope that you have a wonderful, blessed rest of your day. Thank you again for watching and supporting my channel. And I will see you next time. Love you. Thank you. Bye.